Previously, we looked at the dot product to compute angles, lengths, and distances. In this video, we will be looking at generalizations of the dot product in order to compute angles, lengths, and distances. Sometimes it is necessary to use an unconventional way to measure these geometric properties, and the inner product allows us to do exactly this kind of thing. An inner product is a generalization of the dot product, but with the same idea in mind. We want to express geometric properties such as lengths and angles between vectors. Let's define what an inner product actually is. So let's write the definition. We're looking at two vectors for any vectors x and y in a vector space V. An inner product is defined as a symmetric positive definite bilinear mapping. So let's see what that means. We take a mapping that takes two inputs out of this vector space. It's a mapping from v times v to the real numbers. And we say this function is symmetric, positive definite, and bilinear. So let's unpack this a little bit. Let's start with bilinearity. Bilinear means that for vectors x, y, and z in this vector space and real numbers lambda, we get that lambda times x plus z and y, so the scalar, uh, so the uh, inner product between lambda x plus z and y can be written as lambda times the inner product between x and y plus the inner product between z and y. So this is linearity only in the first argument of this function, and we require to have linearity also for the second argument of this function. So similarly, we will then require that the inner product between x and lambda y plus z is lambda times the inner product between x and y plus the inner product between x and z. So this means linearity also in the second argument. And that's the reason why this is called bilinear. It means linearity in both arguments of this function. So positive definite means that the inner product of x with itself is greater or equal to 0, and equality holds if and only if x is the zero vector. And the last component that we need is symmetry. And symmetric means that the inner product of x and y is the same as the inner product of y and x. So the order does not matter. Let's have a look at an example in R2. If we define our inner product to be x transpose times the identity matrix times y, then we get exactly the dot product that we are very familiar with. But now let's have a look at a different example where we define our inner product to be x transpose times a times y, where a is the matrix 2, 1, 1, 2 then we can also write our inner product to be 2 times x1, y1 plus x2, y1 plus x1, y2 plus 2 times x2, y2. And this inner product is different from the dot product. Any symmetric positive definite matrix in this equation defines a valid inner product. In this video, we introduce the concept of an inner product, which we will use in the next videos to discuss geometric properties of vectors, such as lengths and angles.